All right, guys, welcome to this session. Um, and this session is going to crown whatever we have learned. I'm going to move very fast in this session. Talk with me, bear with me. One, I also want us to finish as early as what we do here. It's your personal. All right. I hope I'm very audible. We started, I gave you a question offline. I gave you a question offline, and like I was saying, remember I said yesterday, I will test you on grade 11 work. Uh, this is actually grade 10, like I said, and pricing empirical what? Formula. The whole idea of empirical, guys, is you must work with percentages. It says a 2 gram sample of compound E contains 1,09 grams of carbon. Don't throw that 1,09 in. That's it into what? Percentage. So basically, you start from percentage composition. Now, for carbon, what is it? 1,09 over 2 multiplied by 100. Give me an answer, quickly. So we convert it into what? Percentage by mass. 4, comma, 5 what? Just 5. All right, percent. So the mass that we use in empirical is a mass that was a percentage. That's why we say percentage by mass. What's next? Hydrogen, which is what? Uh, what? 1, 8 over 2 multiplied by 100. What would that give me? Automatically, I think we can get oxygen because the whole thing must give me what? 100. What is oxygen? 100 minus 55,5. Oh, okay, wait. Um, sorry. This compound is actually an ester. You see, it's compound E. Cut it out from a That compound E actually looks like this. Sorry, I... I X, it's not like you were getting it anyway. <laughs> CX, <laughs> CX, HY, OZ. Is that okay? So oxygen would have been 54,5 plus what? 9. Is that making sense? Because it's a percentage. So we add those together. Give me that percentage. I'll show you another way of calculating oxygen. Sorry? 36,5. Another way I could have gotten oxygen is this. If this, thing, this whole thing is 2 grams, 1,09 is carbon, 0.18 is hydrogen. Rest would be what? Oxygen. That makes sense in terms of mass. 1,09 minus 0,18. Does that? That gives me the mass of what? Oxygen. Did you try that? What's your answer? 0, 73. That's the mass. Can we convert it to percentage? 0, 0,7 divided by 2 multiplied by what? 100. That should give us the same 36,5. Now, can we now do what we did yesterday? Which I'm not... This was what was hidden there. Now, what do, what do we say? C, H, and then O. What is this? 54,5, 9, and 36,5. This we divide by what? 12. This we divide by 1. That we divide by what? What do you do? Um, divide by the smallest again. Can we get all these decimals? Divide by the smallest. That gives you the empirical. Let's do it quickly. I'll divide the second one. Eh? 4,54. Who's dividing the third one? Thank you. And we now find the ratio by dividing by what? The smallest. Which one is the smallest? 2,28. What is 4,54 divided by 2,28? Right? Which is what? 2. What is 9 divided by 2,28? Sorry? Three point five four and then four oh 
But what is this? MP3 card. A ratio. How do I get the molecular? The examiner gave me the molecular mass as 88. If you remember, what did we say yesterday? Ratio becomes what? Mass or what? Empirical mass. What is the molecular mass? 88. What is the empirical mass? 12 times 2, 24. What? Two. So what is the molecular formula? We take all of this and multiply it by what? Two. What do we have? Four. H8. What else is there? I'll show you what else is there. Ready for what else is there? Okay. Can I move, guys, quickly? All right. Please just take those that were with me today. We did this. This is a very beautiful question. But I couldn't just let it go without showing you as well. Seven marks question there. We, are, we, we, we said that electrochemistry is what you should get, 100%. But now you get into exams. Ah, Bishop was lying. Shame. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. That guy was lying. Check. Seven marks, yo. All right. That guy is a liar. And I'm not. And I've taught you how to get these things done, the principles. Guys, what, is, what are we looking at? Electrolytic cell. Before I answer this question, please. I want to quickly clarify something for you on electrolytic. Very fast. It's one of, one of the fastest electrolytic sessions that you Please watch. I am going to quickly... ...what? Copper chloride. Before we jump into that, can you tell me the things we ought to know about electrolysis. One, it is a non spontaneous cell. Is that fine? Endothermic. Yes. Number three, electrolysis. What are we dealing with? Conversion of what? Electrical energy. Electrical energy to what? Chemical energy. Very fast, guys. And we use a DC power supply. Why are we using a DC power supply? To maintain the polarity of the electrodes. To maintain polarity of electrodes. Direct current. Is that okay? What are the things I should be able to define? Electrolytic cell. Thank you. All right. Guys, you should be able to define what electrolytic cell is. I want you to notice what this thing is. Energy to chemical energy. What is electrolysis? It is the process of converting electrical energy to chemical energy. What type of energy conversion takes place in an electrical energy? Can you see that that line gives you how many questions? How many answers? Three. Number one, electrolytic cell. It's a cell that converts electrical energy to chemical energy. Electrolysis. It is the process of converting electrical energy to chemical energy. What type of energy conversion takes place in the electrolytic cell? Electrical energy to chemical energy. Okay. What is electrolyte? Electrolyte is an ionic what? Solution that conducts what? Electricity. That conducts electricity 
through the movement of ions through the movement of ions please if you are lost and they ask you electrolyte use nitrates mostly use what nitrates if the terminal says name the electrolyte just take a name why all nitrates are soluble non-electrolytes things that cannot be used as in never write this when they ask for electrolytes right barium chloride barium sulfur called precipitate they must never be used as electrolytes because they are Ah, sorry, please. We're just going to take pictures of slides and then you get back home. But we move quickly. I don't want to keep waiting. No, it will be there. Just a piece of um, me clone. Possible. Let's start with you. <laughs> All right, guys. Non electrolytic. Now, number one, what are we looking at? The electrolysis of copper what? Chloride. I said it's one of the fastest things you've ever seen, you know. I need my full marks here. There are just a few things that I want to mention. Chloride. By the way, what do we know? There's an important acronym here. What does it stand for? All right. The anode is what? Positive. In which cell? The electrolytic cell. Everybody? Anode is positive. Make sure you write this acronym down when you get into the paper. APE. Anode is positive. So, guys, check. I have this. This is my positive. The negative. It means this anode and this is the cathode. Now, this one, what makes this cell? All these cells have their unique I am using carbon electrodes. Copper electrodes. You guys remember our first step? Plus and what? Cl minus. We are going to do migration. The point Cu2 plus, where we the cathode. Okay. While this one here should go to the anode. Why? The anode is positive in the electrolytic. Is it making sense? Same thing will happen on that side. Here, CuCl2 will break down into plus and Cl minus. This one cathode, and this one there. If you remember one of the ways I told you, is the anions will always go to the anode. Okay? Cathode. These ones are called what? Cat ions. The cat would go to the cat, and and these are called what? Anions. And are we cat cat and an the next step is what's key? What happens at the anode? What happens at the anode? Oxidation. What do we have at the anode? This is the L what? Minus. Have you? 
see you to this electrode is what? I have two things on that side. What happens at the anode? Oxidation. Are looking for what will be oxidized for B. They are looking for the first one on the table. Everybody, I, I know you have a table there at home. See you guys. See you. So let's know it quickly. See you will be what? Oxidized. Are we together? Because CL is down, 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 down there on the table. It's cleaning the table, CL. Clean, CL. CL clean, CL. Cleans the table. It's down, down, down. Is that okay? All right. So which one comes on top? CU. And that will be the one that will be oxidized. That's the anode, right? And how do we write it? We start from the right to the left. So what's going to be our reaction there? CU. Give us what? CU2 plus plus 2E. My gel in us, 2 marks. Are you with me? What happens at the cathode? Reduction. Let's go to the cathode. What do we have? They are both CU. There's no need to be checking anything there. Right. Reduction. Are you with me, everybody? At the cathode, what happens? Reduction. So what are we going to get? CU2 plus. If it's the cathode, you remember what I said? We copy cat. Remember that statement? Copy cat. Copy cat means copy the cathode. So what do we have? Cu2 plus plus 2e to give us what? Cu. Write the net equation. Electrons is two electrons. There's no need to balance anything. It's really what? Balanced. So what do we have? On the left, Cu. On the left below, Cu2 plus. Right on top, Cu2 plus. Right at the bottom, Cu. Okay, this is three marks. Now, the interesting part is this. Examiner is going to ask you, Regan, why do you have... Oh, okay, okay, your message just came in. Now, examiner is going to ask you, what will happen? That's the key. That's why I'm look actually looking at this whole thing. L2 remains... Why is that so? Rate of oxidation Cu is the same as what? The rate as the rate of what? Reduction of Cu2 plus. Guys, Basically, I wanted to, I'm going to be very graphic about this so that you remember. I want you to see these electrodes as the door. But okay. See them as doors of a classroom. What's happening here on this door? Anna goes out. Leaving. What happens at the anode? Lena leaves, Elena comes in. What happens to the number of learners in class? One person leaves, one person replaces. And that's what's happening. See? Right? But what's happening here? CU is now converted to what is lost. So what is lost is gained. The number remains what? What this is what they are going to test you on. Ask you for the color of the electron. Ever blue, ever blue. That's the last thing. But now, on the right hand side, what happens? What happens on the right hand side? 
Look at my electrodes. My electrodes are what? Carbon, not copper. When I have copper, it's so that it replaces what is lost. And this happens during electroplating. That's why if I want to electroplate something with silver, keep replacing what is lost. If I want to electroplate with zinc, I must use what? Electrode. So that it keeps replenishing, keeps supplying zinc ions. Does that make sense to you guys? What happens at the right hand side, the cathode? Carbon, carbon. Okay, what are we going to have here quickly? This one is positive, right? This is what? Negative. What comes here? Cl minus. What comes here? Cu2 plus. Carbon is inert. That's why you don't have it on your table there. But okay. You can look for carbon from now till that same table. They won't find carbon. But okay. All right. So you finish university, you marry, you give birth, your child does 12 years. Still carbon will not be there. So we don't consider what carbon as a reactant. That I will tell you where carbon will play a big role. But let me mention it. I'm not going to write this down. If the examiner uses things and the end product, we have oxygen. Because your face is like a... All right. Check this quickly, guys. I'll write it now. Cal cathode end anode. What happens at the anode again? Oxidation. Cl this time around. Remember the first one we were comparing Cl minus and copper. But there's nothing to compare with right now. Is that okay? There's nothing to compare with. It's like having just chiefs on the log table. If they win the league. Okay. It's like Bafana Bafana going for World Cup and they are the only one. Who wins? Okay, sorry, Tando. I just had to go there. <laughs> it's, I'm still consoling ourselves, ne? Yeah, it's, uh, it was a good... <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Anode. Oxidation. So, it is only Cl that we have. What's going to happen? It will be oxidized. Where do you start writing? From the right to the left. What will it be? 2Cl minus to give us what? Cl2 gas plus what? 2 electrons about the reduction at the cathode cat and reduction we only have cu2 plus right plus 2e to give us what cu concentration of cu cl2 does what d why is it decreasing cu2 What was replacing it in the other cell? Solid electrode was replacing it. This time around, we have removed the source. But okay. So watch the electrodes. The electrode will either replace or do nothing. But in the anode. Everybody? At the anode. Yes. Left or right? Left. Uh, you are moving your hand to the right and you say left. Guys, are we okay with what happens? You understand why the concentration changes? But the same. We're good. Jump into that question now. Jump into that question now. Lovely. The electrolytic cell below is used for the electrolysis of copper chloride. A and B are carbon what? Already since I see carbon, I know that CuCl must decrease. Only remain the same. If I have, if I have Cu here and I also have
and electrolysis. Done. Is this endo or exo? Done. What is endothermic? Because it is non spontaneous. Write the half reaction that takes place at B. Wait, uh, B is the positive one, right? And that is what? The anode. Make sense? That this one here is positive. L2 is Cu2 plus Cl minus. Look. Where do we have our equation? It's that two that you asked me now. Max, two max. Just use the charges. Don't cram anything. That if that's the positive, which one should go there? The, that's the anode. You go to your table. Divide from the right hand side, right to the left hand side. There is a question sitting with sitting for everyone here. This was like the question ten. Imagine this is the last one in this paper. Wasn't too bad, no? Okay, all right. But this one, you came late. When we, you we had done this earlier on, my dear learners, please, if you listen to, I repeated this so much. When don't stress about the question. One, by reading. Or two, by writing down what you have. Check. 0 0.369 grams of copper. Yes. And I have to. How it's going to play out? We would see just now. What's the mass? What? 3.69. Fine. All right. Ready? I know that this I must convert to one. What are we looking for? Calculate the what? Current. Guys, we are going to do some mathematics. Don't just start these questions anyhow. Mind map in English. What do I do first? Right? Now, my, my job quickly, um, Desh, I want you to focus. I'm looking for I. I. I equals to what? Q. Current is the rate of flow of charges. Fair. Yes, very fair. Because if you know the definition, you. Are you telling me that on, on Friday you dropped all the definition of physics? Great. Well done. Cram, CPF. Cram, pass, and forget. Okay. However, we are still doing current, so bring back, go and borrow it. Okay. Now, I equals to what? Q over delta T. Do you notice that I'm already moving gradually? What do I mean by moving gradually? I'm looking for I. Do I have time? Yes. My problem is what? Q. Mm. Q. Okay, luckily for you, I noticed that in your new paper 2, you've not noticed. On the, check the new formula pages. On the, um, that E cell, you would find another line there that tells you what? N is equal to what? Q. Okay, let's let's focus. Don't worry. Q over Q E. So, do you see that I'm bringing this Q here? What is Q E? It is charge on an electron. What's the value? One comma six times ten to the power negative nineteen. I'm not expecting something like this to be hectic, but I'm showing you how to. Are you there? Okay. What is my challenge? I'm looking for this Q, right? I know this. Always follow us. N. What is N? The number of 
moles. But do I, where do I get this number of moles from? Guys, I'm still working on electrons here, right? <laughs> number of moles of the electron. Wait. Said quantity. Of, wait, hold on. They said 0 0.369 of copper or seated at the cathode. Let's go right here. Plus, plus 2e. I know the mass. Yes. Ah, so if I can get the number of moles of the electron, I can get my Q, I'll get my I. It will not give you, I think you must be telling me right now when you get to the exam hall, that they will not give you that, but they will give you information on the other substance. Do you know they gave me the mass of copper? Can I start from there now? Now we start answering the question. Just use the formula, child. I'm looking for I. I is Q over T. I need to get, I get Q from N over Q. N is Q equals to? Okay, yes, I have. All right, guys, can I start by saying number of moles of copper equals to what? Mass over molar mass. What is the mass? 0, 0,369. What is copper? 63,5. Somebody help me. Comma? 5,8. Are you sure? Number of moles of copper. You are fine with us, guys. That's the only thing we can get from copper. What do I use now? Mole what? Ratio. What's electrons versus what? Copper. Are you with me? All right. Can I get the number of moles here? I have. How what? Zero, zero, five, eight, N. Right? What are we going to get? One, six. By doing what? What? Electrons. Now we are moving now. We are now moving backward. Why? It's like asking for accounting. That, that paper is not allowed to be in the exam room. Are you writing physics? Okay, tomorrow, when they say electrolysis, define Newton's laws. Say it's physical science. <laughs> yeah. So that paper is not allowed in the exam hall. We cannot use it. So there are some formulas... Oh, it cannot be written on the board. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, but basically, these are the only formulas that we borrow from physics. Is that okay? These are the two formulas that we borrow from physics. Now, do you notice we have the number of moles of electrons? Can we then use that to calculate? Can I leave this? Oh, guys, now you have N. I've got a lot of stoichiometries to do. Guys, now wait. I, that means you are not following everything I was saying. Do you have N? Do you have QE? Put it there. Cross multiply. What do you get? Q. Bring that Q here. I equals to Q over T. You get your I. Yes. No. Charge on an electron. You've been working with that thing from grade 10. Ah. Hey guys, you are fighting the wrong person though. Guys? Alright, but is the thought process now okay guys? Please? 
now you can complete this. The whole idea is to first debug what step to do. I equals to Q over what? How do I get my Q? N equals to what? I need to get the number of moles, blah, blah, blah. Ah. Are you with me? Another one now quickly, another stoichiometry. Don't jump into it. You see, the left-hand side means that you want right-hand side is what you give to the examiner. From N, what do I get? I get what? Q. And we did that one as well today. Where is it? Uh, one second, guys. Right. I'm seeing something here. I've not done this one. First time of doing this question, I want you to watch what I'm going to do. I put it in there, although I was looking for something different. Just check the bottom for me. It had to do with the calculation. We're going to run. Uh, this, uh, 43. All right. Please watch this again for the three. Those of you that want to, I'm not going to do all of this question, guys. Please. I'm just showing you that, well, stoichiometry could be. All right. The simplified diagram below represents an electrolytic cell to purify what? Copper. Are we there? What are we purifying? Copper. We are getting distracted. We're getting distracted. Copper means I want to see copper. Is that okay? This one is the positive. It means R is the what? Anode. And this is what? Cathode. What do we do? We see that guy is pure copper. And this guy is impure. Take note of these little notes. Just by reading, I've not even started. I didn't look at the question. I just want to quickly say all of that. This one will what? Yes? The cathode is going to get bigger. Everything you want to electroplate must be at the cathode. That's what we're saying. Guys? All right. Um, define the term electrolysis. Two marks. Which electrode, R or T, consists of pure copper? I have already answered that. Which electrode? T. Give a reason. Reduction occurs at that electrode. So what we are saying is, this thing is impure. We want to take the pure one from here and bring it there. See the pure one here. We see at C. This C represents what? The cathode. I want to electroplate a ring. I want to see silver on the ring. We see at C. We see at the cathode. So anything you want to electroplate must go to the cathode. Okay. Write down the half reaction that takes place at R. This is what? The anode, which is oxidation. And we are dealing with what? Copper. What are we going to write? Copper would give me what? Copper 2 plus plus 2E. This is you writing from the right hand side to the left hand. Don't even worry about the table. Just focus. Okay. How will the concentration of the electrolyte be affected while the cell is functioning? Guys, are you aware that the Cu here, we have Cu2+, plus, which goes here? But from here, what's happening? Cu2 plus is coming back in. What happens to the concentration? Remains what? 
the same. Give a reason I gave you. The rate of oxidation of copper is the same as the rate of reduction of Cu2+. plus. Are we together, guys? Done. Zinc is one of the impurities in the impure copper. Will the presence of zinc influence the quality of the refined copper? Choose yes or no. Be careful with that yes or no. That's the last thing you should choose. Right? Refer to relative strength. Guys, we are comparing and copper. Where do you go? Table. Now have zinc 2 plus and copper what? 2 plus. Let's go check. The copper here is positive 0, 0,34. After this, I'm going for acid and base. Which one is first? Don't waste time, guys. Zinc. All right, zinc is first. Okay, that means we're going to have a problem. Watch this. Zinc is first, right? So that means this one, this one should undergo what? Oxidation. While this one would undergo what? Reduction. Are you with me? It's fine. It's not going to be a problem. At the cathode, we what? Re Reduction. So which one will be reduced? See it. That's why we have at the cathode, our reaction will be what? Cu2 plus plus 2E. My answer would be no. It will not. I have zinc 2 plus and copper 2 plus. Compared to the strength of oxidizing what? Agent. Since this one is reduced, it's going to be a stronger oxidizing agent. What would my answer be? Cu2 plus is a stronger oxidizing what? Agent. When I say stronger, guys, then, then what? Zn2 plus. I want you to see. Because it's a stronger oxidizing agent, one. Then Zn2 plus 2. Answer, no. So we have Zn2, just use your table. We have Zn2 plus and we have zinc. Yes, Alwande, quickly. I'm listening. Okay, here. Cu2 plus from the aqueous goes here, right? We are losing it. That's what we're saying. It's been lost. Why is it been lost? The Cu2 plus is con converted to what? Cu. So it's gone. But at the anode, we have impure copper. So there's still copper here. Copper solid. The only thing is that we have a whole lot of things. So the copper here is then going back into the equation, into the solution as Cu2 plus. What is lost is gained. Lost five rand, somebody gave you five rand. Money is the, what? the same. Alwande, I hope that makes sense. The only good, the only time that concentration would decrease and not replacing what is lost. Once you see that it's copper inside the solution and it's a copper electrode at the anode, concentration will remain what? The same. Does that make sense, everybody? All right, good. Guys, is my answer there making sense? I have copper. Look, bro, me your table quickly. I want to quickly turn. I have co where's copper? Copper 2 plus 0, 0,34, right? Check this. Please listen to this. If the examiner were to come here, let me go to a different page. An examiner says, instead of zinc, this electrode is made of sodium and copper. But this is copper what? Sulfate. This is pure what? If you please get this. If you get this, you'll understand what I've been saying so far. When this thing comes into the solution, 
every this anode is actually dissolving into the solution. What are we going to have? What are we going to have? CO2 plus and Na plus. Because the whole thing is going into the soul. Trying to purify what? Copper. Now, we've got copper 2 plus and and check your table. I chose something wrong. I chose something wrong. Let me choose silver. Sorry. I have AG. Now, please check copper and AG and tell me which one you find first. Copper is on top, right? AG is at the bottom. What happens? Which one? The one on top will be what? Oxidized. The one at the bottom will be what? Reduced. What I'm doing makes sense. So, what happens at the cathode? AG plus will be reduced. What are we forming? I mean, what? Perfect. Because we are expecting copper to be deposited. But what's now being deposited? Silver. And we wanted pure what? So again, we are producing another impure copper. Just by copper. First one you find. This one is not so. If they had said silver, my answer would have been what? No. But will the presence of zinc ion influence the quality? Points? Yes. What would be the reason? Instead of but two plus being reduced. Which one will be reduced? Ions. Why? Silver ions are stronger oxidizing agents than Cu2 plus. Mark for yes. One mark for the stronger and one mark for the bad. It makes sense, guys. Are we okay? So it's all about your reactions and we're done. A constant current is... Now, I want us to... Think about this thing. A constant current registered on the amid 1,72 grams of copper at the cathode. Let's start the cathode. What's the equal? Cathode. Cu2 plus plus 2e plus solid. That's the deposit. Okay, let's go back. How much copper is deposited? 1,72. Alright. 72 grams. I think we have time, right? What was the time? 30 minutes. What are we looking for? Correct. Do you notice that we are doing the same thing now? We are looking for what? I. Where do I start from? I equals to what? Q over delta T. But what is Q? Q equals to what? Or N equals to what? Q over QE. This number of what? Moles. Where will I get the number of moles from? I will start by calculating the number of moles of Copper. Are we there? After that, what do I use? Mole ratio to transfer the number of moles to this one and get the number of moles of the electron Q over 
1 comma 6 times 10 to the power negative what 19 once i get my q i'll bring it here i have my delta t which is 30 times what that same question seven marks if you Guys, did this make sense? These are the two formulas. And QE. Are we together, guys? All right. Oh, um, you should be able to now handle this. We did one today that was from what? Uh, I had it here. Guys, I just need to move from here. Uh, I know we... Uh, who's saying something there? If you're saying something, let me know. What was that question? An electrolytic question. All right, but it's fine. Can you give me that document? You see what I'm saying that, guys? They've started introducing these formulas. So soon, maybe somebody will think about bringing in Q. Um, let me just, can you borrow me that document I gave yesterday? Question, how do you know which CU to use? Guys, look, the examiner will tell you. They will guide you. Us and see you. Once you see that the electrode is a solid, Are we okay there? That the question Cu2 plus will be in the solution. If the examiner gives you this, check this. Tell you a copper one salt. If I say copper one, I'm talking about water. See you. If I say copper one, I'm talking about water. And CU plus. Not C. I hope that makes sense. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know what happened to this, but uh, just want to show you one question and then I move from Basid and Base. If we have if we have time, we'll come back to that is two marks, but it's too important. Before I go to that question, check. I have a question with me. If you have Mpumalanga, it's there. It's an electrolytic cell. And they told us that it's five marks. During the process illustrated above, a total of 2 comma 2 times 10 to the power 24 electrons. Is that okay? Calculate the mass. And here as well, it is the purification of The mass of copper. 
Now, what do we have? The proper two plus. We start by writing what? I want you to see there's a bit of a, there's a slight difference on this one. What are we looking for? The mass. Always start from what you're looking for, right? Power of moles is mass over molar mass. You know what my problem would be? What would what my problem already see that they've given you information that is my worry what yeah if I can get the number of modes of electron then I'm done I know about my electrons. Power of moles is N over what? N A. Five nine times ten to the power four over. Six comma zero. Huh? Seven five zero six. That's the number of what modes. What do we know? Can I use more ratio now? What do I know? Electrons and copper. How many moles of electrons? Two. I know the number of moles of the electrons. Just multiply and divide. So what is N? Eight. Power of what? Moles. Of which compound now? This is. On, can you see the way I write my own things? It, I'm writing it under copper. So this is number of moles of what? N equals to mass over molar mass. One. Guys, now you have an idea of how to approach a question. Okay. I'm moving as quickly as possible. Before I go to acid and base, let's quickly talk about oxidation. The reaction between magnesium and copper 2, do you see they're giving me copper 2? And the examiner, since they gave me copper 2, already I know I'm dealing with And what? Copper. Make sense? Alright, it's set up under what? Standard conditions. There's only one cell we set up under standard conditions. Write down the type of electrochemical cell. Done. I go on to put this question. Can we? Element in free state. But also zero. Magnesium again. That two there tells me. What? I, with what? Oxidation numbers. Of an element in free state is zero. And the charge on an ion 
Free state. And the charge on an iron gives me its oxygen. What? Number. NO32. Can we break this down into ions? What do you have? NO3 minus. What's the oxidation number? Same thing. Mg. NO3. 2. Break it down. Mg. That 2 goes back to this place there. NO3 minus. What's my oxidation And we know from our definition that in increase in oxidation number is at Mg. What's happening to the positive 2? What is that? Increase. At copper 2 plus. From copper 2 plus to zero. What is that? Don't even in the table you can write your half reactions as quickly as possible. Cell notation. What do we know? It's as simple as A, B, C. That means the anode, the bridge, and the cathode. Anode, the bridge, how do you write your answer? It has a the anode, bridge, and cathode. What do you write at the anode? Because I saw some mess up on this question. The anode side, please take note. Start from the reactant and product. Here as well, you start from what? Actant and the product. Entire thing at from what? A solid and also end with a solid. Start from solid and end with what? A solid. What was oxidized, guys? Let's go. Is that fine? From Mg to what? Mg2. Where does oxidation take place? So, oh, check. Anode. I started from what? Before I even go to the uh, right, what happens at the cathode? What about that makes sense that the first and the last must be what solid. Plus, which is what? Actants and product. Name of the reducing agent. I told you. One is oxidized here. You analyze your reaction. You're just going there and copy, going and copy, going and. Uh, well, man. Mg. So, guys, we know the standard condition for this.
off, one mole per dm cube. Temperature. Don't for, don't cram that thing. Check your temperature here. That's your that's your standard. That's the temperature you write for electrochemistry. No, 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 not that one. This that one is how to convert Celsius to Kelvin. This chemistry. Same as 25 degrees Celsius. So if you forget, please go and write that down. Right? And what's the last one? Standard what? Pressure. This one you copy and paste. There are three conditions. Standard pressure. And that is only for what? Gases. That's your standard pressure. Please only use, in fact, you won't use, throughout grade, uh, grade 12, you won't use that thing. That's your 298. That's what? Standard pressure, standard temperature, concentration, eh? cubic decimeter. Stand there. But when do you use pressure? Only when you. So those are routine questions. Now, 8.3 is not the routine one. How will the concentration of N right? Mg to give us what? Mg2 plus. What are we forming? We are forming what? Mg2 plus. Adding that to what's already in the solution. Mg2, Mg2 plus is already in the solution. Not a situation where there's reduction here. One mole of what? Immediately the stir starts. The anode starts dis dissolving into the solution. What? Guys, concentration will what? Increase. If it's at the cathode, what's happening? It will be decreasing. Uh, the cell is connected to a light bulb. In theory, the light bulb should light up. But in practice, it does not. They're asking you to think here. What are the possible reasons for this, for the light bulb not to be on? One, the cell, cell bridge may not be connected. But the cell bridge must be immersed into it. What is the function of the cell bridge? To con The cell bridge, well, now you think it's connected, but it's not going into the solution. What's happening? It's an open switch. So the light bulb will not work. Number two, you have a light bulb that requires more than you are forming, more than the uh, EMF here, yeah, I think uh, you guys can do this. It's positive 2, Now, the light bulb you are using is heavier. Like, guys, it's like you have an inverter. Do you just connect everything on? No. It means the inverter is producing 2,7, but you It work? No. Is that okay? Your inverter would because the power required it require more than what? Two comma seven. That's a. Po they said, look, English. They are producing 2,7, but the light bulb might require more than what? 2,
like removing the battery of your wall clock and turning it off. So that's why there's positive. If you buy something and they don't show you positive and negative, return it. You want to put a battery, it will be there. Or you use the spring. The spring tells you that's the negative side. Just think that spring is for the battery. No. Tell you that that's the negative side. If you turn the battery upside down with your wall clock, be correct. No. At five o'clock, and you put the battery there. That's five a.m. and five p.m. Making sense. So those are possible what scenarios. Fast, but please, uh, you can get back home and just go through the lesson. Ara before that. Uh, 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 guys, I know I know that I'm preparing you for tomorrow. Some of you shout for acid and base. Things that you will not even still get correct. But these things, get them correct. No, it, let's get this correct. Why am I bringing this? I have a gas involved here. Go to acid and base now. But please, this one before acid and base tomorrow. Go and start with acid and base. Calculate the pH of the final solution. Ah! You forget cathode, you forget anode because you are now stressed about nine marks. Are you aware that nine marks doesn't stop you from getting an A? You can decide not to even do the nine marks. If you are serious and 141. Was paper one. Uh, that's your error. An electrochemical cell is set up under standard conditions using a hydrogen what? Half cell and a nickel half cell. I'm going to move very fast on this as well. All right. First thing that I'm seeing is hydrogen. It's a gas. What does a gas? Bi platinum. It's a solid and it conducts what? I'll ask you. Why? Uh, what? What makes platinum suitable? That's the first one, because it does say it's solid. What else can be solid as well? So the first priority is that it is what in a and a conductor. All right. State the standard condition besides a temperature. I said you should use two nine eight. That's Kelvin. It's 298 Kelvin. So that's the standard temperature that the 273. If you add 273 to 25, you get what? 298. Calculate the initial reading. Everybody, please get me these four marks. You have just three minutes. No talking to each other, please. No talking, no checking somebody's phone, please. I want it to be as perfect, perfect silence. And everybody at home, you are also working. Three minutes. Once you are done, those of you at home, please throw those answers quickly. No, I don't want any, mm, uh, no conversation, please. Anything, ask me. Question papers I gave you yesterday has a big table there.
seconds. Right. All you are using is your table. And you are checking what? Nickel and hydrogen. Which one comes on which one is on top? Guys, I'm hearing nickel and hydrogen, and that's wrong. Now I have a problem with that. Which one is on top? Okay. Cannot get wrong. It means nickel is my anode and hydrogen becomes the cathode. So nickel becomes the anode and this one the what is the formula cell equals to what e cathode minus e what anode to help yourself you can just put it there that this is hydrogen and this is what that is zero minus negative what's nickel zero comma two seven what's your answer positive zero comma two seven one two three by elena should get this wrong this is four if you throw that thing around you get a negative answer forget the positive uh, they will allow you but for me i prefer that Because the positive tells me two things. It is exothermic and it is what? Spontaneous. All right. Okay. Um, energy conversion that takes this in the cell. Chemical, uh, chemical to electrical. One function of Q. It's the circuit. Maintains electrical what? Neutrality. That one you must know, guys. And you must know both of them. Q is a salt bridge. Huh? Balance is neutral. Neutrality of the... All right. I, 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 I taught you this. Direction in which the anions will move. The anions go to. Huh? Where will the anions go to? If you're talking talk with confidence... Yeah, the anions would go to the anode and the cations would go to the cathode. Already we are done there. In which direction will the anions in compound Q go? So our anode is what? The Ni. So it would go towards. Anions would go towards the anode and the cations would go to the cathode. Can we write the half reaction at the anode? See, everything relies on you identifying. What do you do at the anode? You start from the right, go to the left. So what are we writing? Ni, solid. You give us what? Ni, 2 plus, plus what? 2e. Get your 2 mark. How will the pH of the solution of the hydrogen cell be affected after a while? Hydrogen cell. What's happening in the hydrogen cell? Cat. Yes. So what's it going to be? Cathode. What would it be? 2H plus plus 2E to give us what? Please, I want you to learn how to apply chemistry. Hydrogen ions. But what that what we have here. What's happening to the hydrogen ions? Now, how will the pH be affected? Why you guys don't want to learn how to apply? 
calculator. You are not sure if you know how to calculate pH. Guys, please, let, let, let's learn to be smart with questions that are not usual. Take your calculator. Just give any value. Negative log. Right? Good. Now you have said the concentration is what? G. Is this value? What was your first answer? Zero comma. What's your new answer? One. When you decrease, what's happening to the pH? Increase. You are done. How would the pH, would, we said what? Increase. Explain your answer. You start by writing the half reaction first. That makes sense. Once you look, writing this alone, it's two marks. Out. As the concentration of this does what? Decreases. pH value. Now, what are we saying? If you don't want to use your calculator, when you start removing they are removing what is responsible for the acidity of the substance. Acid value of that substance. What happens? It's now moving towards what? Being a base. All right. Already we have even said increase, right? Check. That's the three marks. The platinum electrode is replaced by a larger platinum electrode. All right. How will um, this affect the initial EMF? Standard mass. Okay. The temperature. Why? It's a reversible what? Other than this, other than this, there's information that is missing. Child wants to kill me today. Contaminate. Yeah, and then we go to your acid and base. When we talk about contamination, we are simply patient, patient of. And B A the second time I'm writing this compound today. Right of the what? Have a precipitates. Once they form, they trap the ions that we need. Back here too. At the cathode. And the E cell. If this thing, one of these forms at what happens?
one of these things forms at the anode. Anode value will decrease. anode. Look, play around. What is 10 minus 4? Then we drop the cathode from 10. What is 9 minus 4? I increase uh, I increase the anode from 4 to 6. goes up. What happens to this value? Goes down. Down. This goes up. One, okay, now I want to reverse the whole thing. We are saying if the cathode goes down, that thing I did on the side there, right? What if I increase the concentration Uh, concentration, one mole per gm cube. If I then add more, or if I, no, not if I add, but it won't affect. But if I increase the concentration from one, if the anode, or if the cathode goes up, what will happen to the east? Right? If I throw in 12 minus 4. This is just to make things look fancy. You can work it out. And does what? Go up. This one will what? Don't feel like, oh, there's so much to remember. Just know what is responsible for the increase and the And my job today, guys, don't expect me to do All right. Uh, but for this question, let's answer 17 marks. The balanced equation represents the first step in ionization of sulfuric acid in water. So we have that. Write down the formula of the two bases. What do I have here quickly? H2. What does it look like? H F. Hydrogens are here. How many here? What has happened? This one has. What has happened? So the water has what? Gained. Acid loses a proton. It H2SO4 throws that proton away. It's left with what? Acid. What are you looking for? Two bases. Boric acid is strong or a weak acid? Rises completely wrong. You must finish it. Okay. Produce. I ah, don't to produce me. You must give it. To produce a high concentration of hydronium ions.
Are you okay, guys? So please make sure you don't say, but the examiner knows what I'm talking about. These are not your teachers. You won't be there when we are marked. Ah, mara se, mara, 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 it's your friend. No. We just look at you. This child is unserious. Chua, chua. All right. Let us use... Okay, look, guys. For acid and base, I'm going to do two things for you. Two activities. I just need to check my, oh, no, my mirror, rather. I have to, I've got a mirror from the bubble. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm joking, guys. <laughs> just trying to spot. That's the whole thing. But in sporting, I know they'll bring something from grade 11. Yeah. Let's run through. We did this today with some of you guys, right? So. But today it's personal. I'm personal, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Let us use the reaction of a 0, 0,15 moles, but please take your time to um. Let us use the reaction of 0, 0,15 moles per dm sodium hydroxide in two different Sure, sure, sure. Okay, but please... <laughs> please listen carefully. Mm, mm, mm. I wish I could be scrolling through some papers right now. Where is this? I'll look for it and send it to you. I'll look for it and send it what's there tomorrow. But there's a question that came to my head right now. And when it flies through my head like that, it's very... But they will give you two experiments. Is that okay? Experiment one and... Ex Idea is this. You start from experiment two. Walk up to experiment one. No amount. In fact, they won't. Okay, they will give you. Yeah, they will say, for example, fifty cm cube of a particular solution. That's what we have. Excess. The excess was used in reaction number two. I'll find it because you need to see what I'm talking about. Is that okay? I'll find it. I've been doing questions, you must have seen what I'm talking about. What you do is in experiment two, please listen, experiment one would be, and this is a percentage purity. Why am I going back there? Going back to percentage purity. I'll find it. There's one in the grade 11 paper. But this is what they'll do. They'll tell you, tell you that um, substance is dissolved in water or something. Act with excess. Okay, so a base will react with what? I'm creating it. Creating this question before I answer this one. Guys, um, just allow me. Allow me create this quickly. In two, three minutes. I'm doing it as I'm creating it. Five grams of calcium carbonate in pure calcium carbonate. I may be wrong with my values, but it's the idea. Five grams of what? In pure calcium carbonate is dissolved in excess hydrochloric what? Acid. Five grams of that is dissolved in hydrochloric acid of concentration of what? 0, 0,1 moles per cubic what? 
decimeter. The excess HCl lies by um, a zero comma two the cubic decimeter the excess is neutralized by by neutralized by twenty five cm cube m cube of a zero comma two mole calculate the percentage purity This one is the one. Okay. Five grams of impure is dissolved. Now, do you notice there are two experiments here? We took five grams of impure that and excess HCL. Let me see. something here quickly. Five cm cube. All right. Seventy five cm cube. I changed that thing there. All right. Uh, guys, this will take us five minutes. Let's get through and see the idea behind it. So there are two reactions. Is that okay? First we take the five grams and dissolve in what? Seventy five cm cube. Is that okay? What am I looking for? Percent. Start by writing the percentage purity. Mass of what? Pure. All sample of impure. I know my total impure sample. What is my problem? So, multiplied by what? What? Carbonate. That first reaction, this would have been our carbonate reacts with a base, carbon dioxide. Plus H2O. Said we need the mass of this thing, right? What do we know about HCl? You know the concentration, right? That 75 is not the portion was used in number one. Get the volume that was used. Get the volume here. We can calculate the number of. Once we get the number of moles, mole ratio. Get the number of moles here. We get the mass. 
gets a mass. Can you see the combination? The challenge is how do we get the volume in reaction one? That's why the examiner gave you what is the key word in reaction two? Because what? Neutralized. What are we reacting? HCl and sodium hydroxide. L plus NaOH to give us what? Plus H2O. What do we know here? We know 5 cm cubed. Volume here is what? Zero. Add by what? A thousand. So the concentration. Yes. What? the volume used in react reaction one reaction two no we don't now because we have the word neutralized what formula NB equals to CA over CBVB. NA over NB, CAV over, please, we use this formula when you have complete what? Neutralization and you have them as what? Aqueous solution. Not aqueous, you cannot use that formula. What are you going to do? Go back to my three steps. What are the three steps? Step one. Working out the so you see from here we can get volume, right? Once we get at once we get volume, we are going to say, oh, okay. Na, what is the number of moles of the acid? One. What's the number of moles of the base? One. One over one. Do we know the concentration of the acid? Zero comma one. Do we know the volume of the acid? No. Do we know the concentration of the base? Do we know the volume of the base? Zero comma two five. What do you give me answer? Na over Nb equals to what? C. One over one. Do we know concentration? One volume of the acid. Unknown. Do we? What was it? Let's get for volume of the acid. Huh? Zero five. What? Q. This is. Minus zero comma zero comma two five. Okay, zero comma m what q? Do you see why the zero comma the seventy five came in now, right? Okay, so we have the volume used in reaction number what? One. Does that make sense? Okay, do you know where we are? We are here. You know I don't want to hear that, right? Okay. Now, can we go back to our reaction here? What what number of moles? Can we now get the number of moles of HCl used in reaction? 
burn. Do we know the volume? Yes. Do we know the concentration? Yes. Now back in reaction, what? One. Uh, um, number of moles of HCl. Volume? 0, 0, 0,02. 5 moles. the number of moles here now this is what all i don't know is this carbonate therefore would be what yes what is the number of moles zero comma zero zero one two five what is the molar mass of calcium carbonate? Therefore, will be what? If you multiply this by 100, 0, comma. Eleven. There's no grade twelve yet. They give you two reactions. What do you do? Start from the second. What? You create your mind map. At the mass, I need the number of moles. Number of moles of this, I need them. But they told me it's neutralized. That neutralization to get the volume I used. Now you get your volume, get your number of. Okay, let's work on pH of the final solution. That's the second one. That one, I is the one, Shay. But let's behave like this one is the one now. This one is almost the one. Okay. This one is almost the one. What took me there was that those two experiments, and I, I've been wanting to do percentage purity. I've been crying about percentage purity if you've been listening to me for a while. Now, this one says, let us use the 0, 0,15 moles per gm cube sulfuric acid so in two different, what? Experiment. The balanced equation for the reaction is given as that. They use 24, please, my dear Leonard. N A, don't worry about the product. M cube, what is my volume? Zero. Titration. Ah, that's my keyword. What's my Ah uh ah? -uh. Well, is what? Twenty six cm cube of the base. What is my volume? 0, 0,026. What else do we know? Do you see we are looking for the concentration of the base, right? Do we know the vol uh, concentration of the acid? Yes. First line. Let us use what? The 0, 0,15. So what's the concentration? Are they both aqueous? Yes. Is it neutralized? Yes. What? Na over what? NB equals to what? 
C A D A over what? C D D. Please put. That's maybe flying now because I'm switching off the camera. Answer wrong. It's the final answer, but zero comma two eight is wrong. Okay, zero comma two eight moles per cubic what? Decimeter. You see, can you see what she wrote? That's what she's going to do tomorrow. Oh, I'm. So that's why, guys. I, I keep saying these things. And these are the things you are going to do. Remember, now you are not even under pressure. You didn't write it. Under pressure, you are likely to completely forget. So, let's start keeping those things at the back of our mind. Who is not getting 0, 0,28? Get it? All right. Tato? Okay. And yeah, we got it? All right. But remember, we can only use this formula if we have what? Neutralize and what? AKS. Now, I don't want to do this formula. I want to use my three steps. Why do you need to know the three steps? What if it's not AKS? But okay. So let's try to walk through. What's my, what am I looking for? I am looking for the concentration of the base, right? So quickly, H2SO4, because once the examiner gives you grams, I cannot use NA over NB. Are you with me? All right. And what do I have? Uh, what's the other one? Sodium what? Hydroxide. Is it one to two? What am I looking for, my dearliness? I'm looking for concentration of the base. First, I'm going to start by writing the formula of concentration. What's the for concentration formula? C equals to N over V. I do know the volume, right? If I'm looking for concentration, what's my obstruction? Number of moles. But they will not give you number of moles there. What do I need? I need to look at the other, inform other compounds to find what? The number of moles. Step one is to find the number of moles of sulfuric what? Acid. And what is that? C multiplied by V. What's the concentration? 0, 0,15. What is the volume? 0, 0,02, I think. Somebody give me an answer. Zero comma what? Zero, zero, three six. What is step two? Mole what? Ratio. H2SO4 and what? NaO8. What's the mole ratio? I know this one, right? Zero comma zero, zero, three six. N. Okay, we'll cross multiply. What am I going to get? N will be what? 0, 0, 0, what? So guys, can you see the way I'm writing even my stuff? See this, and chemistry just becomes net neat. Right? Because it's the, the outlay. Hi. Okay, all right. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Mole of what? N-A-O-H. What am I looking for? I'm looking for what? Concentration. What is C? 
c equals to what? n over v. What's my n? 0, 0,0072. What is the volume of the base? 26. What do we have? 0, 0,0026. Please confirm. Let's confirm. Ah, uh ah, -uh, uh -uh. Confirm. 0, oh, 0, 0, 026, right? All right. That's why I said we should use what? Calculators in the exam. What's your answer? 0, 28 moles per what? Cubic what? Decimeter. Guys, are you okay with my three steps again? Same thing we used in psychometry. Of, um, yeah? Are you okay? Tell me where you lost. Okay. All right, guys, can we go to the next question? That was five marks. So if I specialize in your paper, I'll be saying, yes, my kids are getting those five marks. Don't on, on me. <laughs> yeah? The question. What are we find? Which, what, was, what was there already? Okay. I'm doing 7.2.1. Okay, can we go to 7.2.2 now? Which is confirming that your 7.2.1 is correct. Another experiment. 30 cm cube of what? H2SO4 is added to what? 20 cm cube of A0,28. Now, it's added. Actually, the same thing was 7.2. It was added. But 7.2.1, there was neutralization. This time around, the examiner did not mention that it was what? What is the pH of the final what? Solution. A quick note on this. Final solution. If you see the pH of the final solution, what are you going to do? Number one is to understand that pH equals to what? Negative log hydronium ion concentration. But this thing here then equals to what? N over what? V. I quickly want to label this N. Number of moles in excess. Volume Acid that n is the number of moles that is in what this is what is going to determine my final what solution. Together, all right. Now, here again. Apart from, no, pH is done in grade 11 as well. Huh? I can show you. If you, no, I can show you. All right, guys, whether you agree or not, it's not my problem. Not it ain't my problem. Okay, guys, quickly. Now, it is added, right? Okay, I need you now. It is added. But we don't know if it is complete neutralization or not. We have to find limiting what? Reagent and excess. And in finding that, what you do is you compare the number of moles. Let's quickly write what we have. We have H2... SO4 plus what? Two moles of sodium what? Hydroxide. Let's write what we have. We are now doing 7.2 point what? Two. What do we know? Please write those, down, those values down for me. 30 cm cube of the sulfuric acid. 30 cm cube of H2SO4. That's the volume. It's added to what? 20 cm cube 
which is the volume of the base. What's the concentration of the base? Rho comma 2, 8. What is the concentration of the acid? 0, 1, 5. Right? You write it like this. You guys are writing stories. Write the equation. What is the concentration here? 0, 1, 5. What is the volume here? 30 cm cube. Never. 0, what? 0, 3. Is that fine with you? What about sodium hydroxide? <laughs> 0, 28. What is the volume? What I'm going to do, guys, since I want to look for limiting reagent, I'm power of moles on each side. Power of moles here is what? CV. 1,5 times 0, 0, 0, 0,045. Here, yeah. N equals to what? C times v that will give me 0, 0,0056 so this is what i mixed together but i don't know which one is more to find out which one is more i need to use what mole ratio so i'll start from any one of them um let's start let's first write our mole ratio h2so4 and what sodium hydroxide what's the mole ratio one is two two let's use um so we don't know we have to guess first let's use h2so4 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0,0045 to n shall we cross multiply n will be what 0, 0,009 moles now guys what i need for me complete new Realization to look like the first one would be 0, 0,009. But what do I have? I have 0, 0,056. I need 0, 0,009. Please, I want you to learn that. See the way I write. I'm looking for sodium hydroxide. It's under sodium hydroxide. Makes it a bit easier to see. But what do I have? 0, 0, 0. there are two zeros it's enough i need 0, 0,009 i have 0, 0,056 it is not enough so it sodium hydroxide is my what limiting we now i'm only going to start calculating from the limit h2so4 and sodium what hydroxide one to two. Now I am using what? My limiting what? Reagent. N. Please adopt this method quickly. I am looking for N, right? So can I cross multiply? 2N is equal to what? 0, 0,0056. Zero, what is N? 0, 0,0028. Moles of which compound? H2SO4. This is what is neutralized out of the original what was the original zero i only neutralized what zero comma zero zero are you okay with that explanation you got it you sure all right I was able to neutralize 0, comma what? 0, 0, 2, 8. Out of 0, comma 0, 0. zero, comma zero, zero one seven. The original minus what was what? Neutralized. The original. So number of moles of H2SO4 that is in excess 0, 0,5 minus 0, 0,28 most of which compound h 2 
equals to n over what? D. Now in the final solution. You think we are done? The question says find pH. We know it's that pH. What is the number of moles in the final solution? Give you the definition of this body. What is that body? Take your notes if you wrote down. What is that? No comma. Guys, I gave you the definition. What is that volume of the final solution? It is the volume of the acid plus the base. Look at this thing here that I have. Those two. What did they do? They added them together, right? It was added. I add this. You think? I add. What happens to the volume? It's increasing. Does that make sense? Volume of the acid plus volume of the what? Base. This is now my. Originally, what did we have? And. 30. So together, what does it give us? 50. That is CN cubed. So what would it be? Huh? Eh? Cubic what? But are we looking for concentration? No. <laughs> what are we looking for? That's why you need to first write what you are looking for to guide you through. We are looking for what? pH. What is pH? pH equals to what? Negative. Now, there's an important point here. Please, there is an important point. I told you that use a pencil to keep your that entered it. The number of of protons. Authenticity of an acid. Guys, come on. All right. What type of acid am I dealing with? Sulfuric what? Acid. And if it's a sulfuric acid, it's a what? Diprotic acid. So N is what? 2. So what do I have? Negative log 2 times 0, 0. One comma one seven. It finally we are done. Aya. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that oh. guys. So what you want there? Yes? When you are looking for the... Okay, there's a question here to say, how do you use KW of water? Use that when you are looking for the pH of a base. Calculate the pH of a 0, 0,3 moles per cubic decimeter potassium hydroxide. Examiner says find what? pH. Start by writing the formula. It guides you to what you are going to do. This is five marks. What is pH? Negative log 
hydronium ion concentrate. What are you given? A base. KW of water. One times ten to the power negative one. I need. And negative fourteen over what? Zero comma three. Back into that formula. Negative of. 1 times 10 to the power negative 14 over 0. Four marks, 5 marks there. But there's another method. pH plus pOH equals to 14. Came from here as well. That pH plus pOH is equal to what? 14. What are you looking for? First is to find pOH, which is what? Negative log of your what? OH minus. Negative log of? 0, 0,3. What would this be? This will give you what? 0, comma something. H plus 0, comma 6, 2. Yep. 5, 2. Now what? 4, 8. Uh, concentration of hydronium ion is equal to one negative what pH. Same way, N of hydroxy ion will be equal to ten to. But that N is very important. Look, I could change this question now from KOH, calcium hydroxide. It's going to. Guys, are we okay? I'm finishing now. I have a problem still. Do you know how many times I've been alone in this garage? For your sake. All right, guys, I'm just going to look at one more thing here, still on that pH, before I shut down. I'll be shutting down the next uh, three, four minutes. Okay. Just to, just to clarify something for you guys. What if the examiner um, says this? What if the examiner changes this? A O H two. Examiner is now changing this. A O H two. Please take note of this. The O H is now multiplied by what? That two comes here. Two. That becomes what here? Zero comma what? Six. Anybody quickly give me an answer here? Where my two played a role?
Now what? Seven, seven. Are you with me there? Seven, eight. Please, do you say that to play the role? Huh? Where my two play the role? Because if I break down calcium hydroxide, I'll be having two plus, plus what? Two. And if I wanted to bring it here, what would I have done? This would, remember, there's that end there, right? So, times what? Two. Please give me an answer. And this is important. So, when they give you pH and you are going back, you need to know when to divide. Two, two. If I put that zero comma two, two here, 14 minus zero comma two. So please know where that end should be. When they give you pH, you are going to divide by that two, by N. I give you pH and you are going back to after finding 10 to the power negative pH. You see? Guys, um, I, I think all the resources you have earlier session today, if you make hearing, giving you a knock, sorry your school is far, I'll be there. Three of you are making the same mistake at the same time. I'll be in those three places. This, you cannot get wrong. Please. KC value, I'm, I'm finishing now, guys. KC value increases Okay, guys, we're making noise. When temperature decreases, the reaction exothermic or endothermic fully or answer. One mark there, three marks. How do you respond to this quickly? Deal with these two changes. What is the first change? Case value is what? Increasing. What is the second change? Temperature decrease. You deal with those two. How do you deal with KC? KC, we know is what? Product over concentration of what? The product must what? Increase. And the concentration you write in full, right? Product is on the right hand side. So what are we saying? The forward reaction is favored. Forward reaction is favored. We are done with KC, right? Now, can we go to temperature decrease? A decrease in temperature favors which reaction? Favors the what? Exothermic. Therefore, the forward reaction. Because if you check, we are favoring the forward and we are also favoring forward reaction is exothermic. On this note, I allow you to exit crazy physics. Thermic. It's been a wonderful year with you all. Thank you so much for believing in the service that we offer, both online and physical. I wish you nothing but the best. Final
chemistry paper. Please rest, but get all the definitions in place. You cannot go into that exam all without right. Ricardo, I'm making you emotional. <laughs> Angelique, it's been an awesome. <laughs> Noela, thank you so much for the love. Mabato, thank you so much for the love. Aha, uh Udefa, -huh, I don't want to say. Regan, my sweetie bomb bomb. I didn't see you on Saturday, but I see you in the spirit. Thank you so much. All right, guys, please uh, get home, rest. The journey continues. I am still with you, but please don't send me, if you are on a group, don't send me message in the video. Okay, I may not be available to respond. Someone sent, and you know, don't say, ah, I'm going to keep this knowledge, they will fail. You are practicing as well when you respond, and the more you help, the better we become. It's been an honor serving you. Crazy Physics signing out. Thank you, and goodbye. I'm available, we are available on WhatsApp just to chat up the night. Is that okay? For questions. Good, good night. Thank you, guys. Bye, Simanke. Bye, Ricardo. Bye, Letabo. Bye, Taco. Bye, Matadiso. Bye, Dash. Bye, this noisy makers. Uh, this night. Night. Good night. Yeah, we're grooving in December. Bye, Noela. Guys, signing out. <laughs>